So one of the next steps I'm gonna be doing is adding an external power switch to the Odroid XU4, just in case maybe it needs to be hard reset or rebooted, or maybe it's just not turning on and you don't wanna open the back of the panel a whole bunch of times to do that. So easiest way is we're going to take these wires and I'm plugging them into pin number one and then pin number 12. You can see a picture here of what that does. So pin number one, looks like you're getting this and pin number 12, P-W-R-O-N, I'm assuming that means power on. So when I take these two, I'm just testing it with some basic cables. If I bring those two together, it's gonna turn it off. If I click them together again, it'll turn on. So I'm gonna wire in another arcade button and mount that near the panel just in case this happens. So I'll post what that looks like after. Those are in pins number one and 12, and it doesn't matter which wire is in which. This is going to an extension here that I have stuck onto a micro switch so that when I click the button, it should turn on. Now it's not plugged in. I'm not gonna do that until I uh, install it. And I have a very small hole over there. Well, a one and one eighth hole to be exact. So that on the front of the machine, if you ever need to turn it on, you can't see it, but if you look underneath, there'll be a little button you can press for the O-Droid for power down to power off. So if you look really carefully, you can now see that that micro switch is back there. So let's plug this thing in. Make sure these are away from the fan. Now it's probably just going to power on its initial time. Probably boot up. But now by using the button, I should have complete control over when that happens. So let's just wait for this to boot up. So that came on. Let's press that button. Let's see what happens. So it looks like, there we go, it shut down. So let's test it again, press the button. Give it a moment, let's see if it sends the signal there. There we go, I press the button, let it load. It should turn on in a moment. There we go. So now we have a, basically it's a momentary switch. Just, just the same as any of the arcade buttons. Plugged into pins number one. So it starts at, goes at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, which is right there. All right, done.